But could you could y'all look back and find the uh, the uh, 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 the mission the mission of New Living Word for me, please? If you could put it on the screen, I could say it. Of course, I say it all the time, but I want them to see this because see, there's a demonstration. There's a demonstration. Y'all see that? Now, now, 2024, of all the ministers and everything else, there's going to be more ministry here than you can imagine. And I mean in the building, out the building, is when we begin to fulfill in this part. Our goal is fulfilling God's great commission with devotion and gratitude. See, with devotion and gratitude. But here's what I want you to see. How are we going to do it? By bringing mankind to wholeness in sp- where? Spirit, soul, and body. How? Through the knowledge of the living Christ with our what? Oh. Huh? You understand? Did you hear what that woman was doing up here today? You can't, you can't tell her not to tithe. You can't tell her not to serve the Lord. You can't tell her. You try to tell her if you want. You can try to tell her. I can't try to tell her. See, but this is what the Word of God does. This is what the Word, I don't care what kind of condition you're in. If you'll stay long enough, if you'll plug in to what, what, what God said, I declare unto you, you will see God do exceeding. And I'm telling you this, I don't even care what level you are. You can be bad because bad go to good here. If you're good, I'm good. Guess what? There's still room. Good go to better here. And if you're better, oh, man, we got to good. Guess what? God said, guess what? The better can go to best. Come on, thank God. Amen? Praise the Lord. So I'm telling you it's not an accident. The organization, the, uh, the, the system and things that we put in place, if you plug in, that's what she did. I didn't think she would. I didn't think she was going to last. I didn't think she was going to last. She fighting everybody and everything. And, uh, but she's testifying. And what Kathy has become, you know what Kathy has become? Her best self. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes God want to bless you so see because she was doing good and God said oh it's better but you, you, if you ain't never had good good is good enough but God said no 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 that's good enough for you but I bless you to be a come on now that thing got to go higher in Jesus name it's got to go higher that's why it goes higher so she is one of many and uh, 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 Sherry just inspired the folks I'm they, they weren't in that condition when they came in, but what did God do? Just, whoop, you see, he spun them on up. Come on, y'all see? Amen. Praise the Lord. Look at Diane and look at the different one. I mean, folks are scared and fearful and all kind of stuff. Amen. I'm not taking credit for that. Only credit I'm taking is, is getting before God, put this thing in place so that God can fulfill this mission and this vision. Come on, thank the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Because so, 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 so really uh, that mission that we have, it's really to help you become your best self. Now, now the 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 human condition, 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 the human condition is that uh, no one has t- that have tasted the rock gut want the new wine. They they want to stay with us because that's what I'm used to. And God is saying, now wait a minute, I can't put new wine in old wine skins. So something you got to let go. And God is saying, I'm after that. I'm trying. You ducking. He's trying to prune. You, he said, wait, be still. <laughs> in this season, becoming your best self. This would have been something that I would have preached in January, but God said, uh-uh, I'm trying to bless them right now. I'm not going to let them take this into 2024. Come on, thank God, amen. I'm not going to let you take it. I'm not going to let, whatever it is has, has kept you from becoming your best self. God said, uh-uh, uh-uh. He said, no, don't wait. He said, don't wait. He said, don't wait. Get this now. I'm blessing them now because the greatest blessing of your life is to become your best self. Your best self. You already know what I live by. You've heard me say what I tell people. Be yourself. What am I saying? What am I saying? What am I saying? What am I saying? Be yourself. I took a look at a couple of passages. Um, one, Mark 12, where Jesus said, Mark 12, 31. Uh, Jesus says, um, uh, well, well, anyway, he, he's talking about, he's, he's, he's quizzed on, they're questioning 
um, they really don't question him. They're accusing him. Uh, what, they want to, to trap him, and they say, now, what is the, uh, the, uh, the, 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 the greatest commandment? Okay, because we're going to trap this man. He said, well, it's not one, it's two. He said, the first one is to love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, thy mind, thy soul, and all thy strength. One pastor said. He said, the second one is like it. He said that you would love your neighbor as what? Oh. You saw I'm not the only one. God says, wait a minute. He said, hold on a minute, hold on a minute. He said, look at, look at the key. The key is how you feel about yourself is how you're going to feel about your." So sometimes we're seeing people treat other people the way they treat them. Is c- c- why? It's because they don't know themselves. That's how they treat themselves. See, see, see you, 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 you see. That's what I'm saying. I'm saying the best you, Amen. God says it. I, I, let me, let me, let me show you. Let me show you something else for the marriages. Let me show you something. Ephesians five and twenty eight. Put this one up for me. Put this one up for me. Look what the Bible says. Watch this, fellas. Watch this right here. Watch God says. Ephesians 5 and 28 says, So ought men to love their own wives as their own bodies. He that loveth his wife loveth what? <laughs> Wait a minute. Do you love your wife? If you don't, there might be a reason why you don't love See why you got to become your best self? See, the greatest, the greatest blessing to your marriage is you becoming your, your best self. Watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this. Galatians 6 and 1. Galatians 6 and 1. Brethren, if you be overtaken in a fault, ye which are spiritual, mature, restore such a one in the spirit of what? Meekness, considering what? Thyself, lest thou also be what? Tempted. So now, look, 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 look. Yourself is the key. We keep doing this. But when we do this, look how many fingers coming back. If I could convince you to be your best self, God knows I'm telling you, you'd be such full of joy. You so you be so full of you. I would I I thought I, I, you know when when Moses told the folks to give, he had to tell them to stop giving. Y'all give it too much. If you be your best self, you understand. Uh, you I, the reason God has got this message is is that remember what I said in 2023, God did uncovering and God knows He st- stopped at my house. And what they're uncovering for was to uncover all those things that are keeping you from becoming your best self. That are keep, Come on, y'all hear what I'm saying? It's keeping you from becoming who God created. Let's see who this best self is. Who is this best self? Your best self. Let's take a look at Jeremiah 1 and 5. Jeremiah 1 and 5. Who is this best self? Your best self is the self that God created you to become. Amen? Praise the Lord. Jeremiah 1 and 5 says, Behold... I formed thee in the belly. I knew thee, and before thou camest forth out of the womb, I what? Sanctified thee, and I what? Ordained thee. Amen. And I say with purpose, but this particular guy ordained thee to be a prophet unto the nations. Now watch this. Then then said I. Now look what God said. But now watch what he says. Then said I, our Lord, our Lord God, behold, I cannot speak. I am a child. Look at the next verse, verse 7. What's the first word? But God changing that. But the Lord said unto me, Say not, I am a child. For thou shalt go to all that I shall send thee, and whatsoever I command thee, thou shalt speak. Y'all see that? See, you see what God keep doing? He said, well, Lord, I, well, no, don't say that. Don't say that, especially when we teach you in a, in a church called New Living Word. You have to be careful with your mouth. You have to be careful because the negative is going to always happen faster than the positive because the, the negative is the natural flow, okay? So, but, but when you take positive against that negative, there's a resistance. 
You understand? That's why you have to watch your mouth, amen, and don't be saying what you feel, what you think. Don't be saying that. Don't be saying, or you'll stay there, amen. You got to say what God says about you. You got to say what God says about your circumstance, your situation, amen. You got to stay with the Lord, amen. Say, becoming my best self. Amen. Your best self is the God. Amen. Is the self that God created. Amen. God formed you. God ordained. God sanctified you, and God ordained you. Amen. Praise the Lord. Now, uh, just one more little passage here. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. I got to watch myself today. Uh, amen. Got about a two-hour trip. Got to go. Praise the Lord. Anyway, Amen. Look at Psalms one thirty-nine. This is one. Uh, uh, it's one of my favorite. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. Look, this is your best self. Here's what the Lord says in Psalms 139 and 1, and I'll probably go to uh, maybe 6, I think it will. Maybe 6, okay? All right, let's move on. All right. O Lord, thou hast searched me and known me. Thou knowest my downsetting and my uprising. Thou understandest my Thoughts are far off. Thou compassed my path, my lying down, and art acquainted with all my ways. For there is not a word in my tongue, but lo, thou knowest it all together. Thou hast beset me before, or behind, and before, and have what? Laid thy hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me. It's too high. I cannot attain. In other words, God know more about you than you know about you. See, so the best you is what God says about you. Come on, thank the Lord. Yo, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I'm tell Do you know the biggest fight I have, I've had for 18 years, you know the biggest fight I've had, is folk won't believe what God said about them. Folk want to be pimp. They want to be caller. They want, I'm a teacher. I'm a trainer. <laughs> All right. I, I, I value freedom. So I don't want your life. I don't need you bowing down to me. I don't need all that fake stuff. Amen. Pray because you ain't going to do what I say when you're going to bow down for anyway. Amen. We don't need all that. Amen. What we want you to do is become the best you you can be because God has given this church a vision and a mission. And God will prove, just like you heard with Sister Kathy, you can ask her to this day, have I ever asked you to do anything for me? Have I asked you to come do anything for my family? I ain't asked her to do nothing because it ain't necessary. You ain't got to be a pimp. Amen. Just pass it to the folks. Shepherd the folks, teach the folk, lead the folk, direct the folk. And guess what will happen? You'll find yourself becoming the best you you can. Come on, thank the Lord. Amen. And when you find that best you, you won't need nobody to make you happy. You'll be happy because of who you are. All right. Let me slow down.